it's a spider that catches its prey like a cowboy that throws a lasso to catch a stray heifer. <laughs> Imagine, if you will. This bola spider is absolutely unique. It does not use a web to catch its prey. Instead, it produces a single strand of fiber with a sticky glob at the end. When this moth flies near, the spider casts the glob at it, just like throwing a lasso. And that sticky glob on the end is what's called a bola. It attaches itself to the moth's body and the glue, which scientists have been unable to duplicate in their labs, immediately bonds with the prey and won't let go. With the weight of the moth now attached, the fiber can then stretch up to six times its original length without breaking. After the moth has finished fighting and squirming, the spider simply reels it in. The fiber and then wraps the, the prey up with that fiber for a future meal. But how does the spider detect the, the prey, the moth, that's approaching in the dark? Now, it's true that spiders do have good eyesight. It's likely that the bolo spider's ability to hear the wings of the flying moth is what helps it figure out the exact location, though. But that's not all that's unique about this spider. If she just waited for a random moth to come close enough, she'd starve to death. But the bola spider produces a smell, a pheromone, that attracts the very species of moth that she favors for her diet. Now, that scent then is the exact same smell that's produced by a mating female moth. Since the spiders have no sense of smell, and without this pheromone, the bola spider would have absolutely no prey to eat, all of these unique hunting systems would have to have evolved by chance at the same time or natural selection would have caused this spider species to have died out long ago. But that's not all. There's more. Another unique species of this bola spider actually eats two different species of moth. One moth flies in the early evening. The other flies after about 10.30 at night. So the spider produces one particular pheromone before 11 o'clock, and then at 11 o'clock at night, it changes the odor to the other and catches the second kind of moth. Now, are you ready for one more design feature of this special spider? Because it's a nocturnal animal, it sleeps during the day, and therefore it needs to be camouflaged in the tree where it lives. And the back of this spider resembles a bird dropping, an off-white and brown mass, so that even in broad daylight on a branch or a leaf, it looks so like something that's completely undesirable to be eaten. When you think about all the marvels of the bola spider, do you really believe that it supports the idea of gradual changes over millions of years of evolution? Or could you see the handiwork of an intelligent designer? You decide.